Um, hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Internet and Technology video and I'll talk about Microsoft Edge browser. You can call me a browser junkie because uh, I use uh, more than one uh, browser. For example, I use Firefox, uh, which you're looking at right now. Then I use uh, Brave and then recently I started using Microsoft Edge. So the only reason I'm, I've been using Microsoft Edge is because of one feature and this is what I'll talk about today. Uh, Microsoft Edge has introduced a uh, few features which we haven't seen before and uh, it uh, it's slowly getting popular. Uh, it's based on Chromium uh, engine and uh, you know but it has some unique features and one of them uh, which caught my attention and only that feature made me uh, use Microsoft Edge browser. So whenever I'm doing a research or searching something, I do not use Firefox or Brave. At uh, that time, I'm using uh, Microsoft Edge and uh, I'm going to show you exactly why. So you can see that uh, Microsoft Edge has some unique features. Uh, some of them you may like and some of them you uh, may not like. So we'll just, you know, take a look at it very quickly. So you can see that, you know, they have their they have been trying to you know take uh, client base from uh, Google Chrome and other browsers but uh, the feature which uh, I like most or the feature which made me switch or made me using Microsoft Edge is called the collection so whenever you have Microsoft Edge uh, you'll see collection on the upper right corner uh, if you have a recent installs then it should be there by default if not then you have to just set it up uh, and then what you can do, let's say you are uh, browsing a website and you want to save this website, then if you right click on the website, then you're going to get an option that add page to collection. And then, you know, you can add that page to collection. Uh, if you have created uh, folders or titles before, then you can add it to the title. Or if not, then you can just like you know, start a new collection. So for example, uh, in order to see the collection uh, on the flyout, then you have to just you know, click on it. And then you can see that you know it's opening up uh, on the right. And uh, for example, right now I have like, you know, one is called research, one is called November gateway. And then uh, if you want to uh, look at them, then you have to just, you know, click on it. So for example, I clicked on that, then you can see that, you know, these are the two articles I saved uh, on under one collection or one uh, folder. And then you have the option to open them all at once. So for example, if you just click here, then you can see that, you know, you have few options. For example, you can even send it to Excel or send it to OneNote or Word and open all, and you can even copy all. And then uh, if you want to just open one, then you can just click on here and then it will open uh, this one on the current page as well so and then here i can see that you know there's a button to check so if i do that then it's going to give you the option to again you know share uh this looks like copy and this looks like delete so you have uh, like you know some options now if i just go back to the main screen then again if you want to start a new folder or new collection then you just click on it and then it's going to uh, you know ask you to enter the name and then here is going to be another uh, collection another good thing about collection is that uh, these are synced across your devices so let's uh, let's say for example uh, if you are uh, reading on your phone or on your tablet so you have to just log into uh, the edge browser using your uh, Microsoft ID and then you'll be able to see the same thing on uh, your other devices so this feature I really like it this is very helpful when I'm looking for something or let's say like you know I'm looking for a trip or I'm searching for uh, something or I'm researching for my YouTube videos then I don't have to worry about uh, you know losing them the difference uh, between collection and uh, bookmark is that you know bookmark doesn't organize you know uh, this way it just you can just add them like you know on top of your uh, browser uh, on the bookmark uh, button or bookmark tab but uh, it's not going to like you know organize all at once or under different sections uh, this way and even if you can you have the capable capability to add it to bookmark under different folders but you know it's kind of not convenient to look at them right 
uh, like the way you're looking at it right now so it's much more user friendly and convenient to have collections rather than bookmark so for that reason you know for uh, this type of uh, job I'm using collection instead of you know adding it to my bookmark and then once I am done I can just you know delete them uh, and I don't have to worry about that but for bookmark you have to just delete that bookmark or it's just like you know usually what happens we end up having uh, lots of bookmarks and we never delete them uh, which is not uh, you know uh, productive so for that way I like collections and then uh, I have been using Microsoft Edge uh, to use this uh, feature uh, there are some more features Microsoft Edge offers I haven't looked at them yet but uh, if I find something interesting and useful definitely I'll you know start using them and I'll do another video about that thank you for watching this video forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video there'll be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you